Hi, my name is Cynthia. Welcome to my class. Today, I'm going to teach you step-by-step -step how to make a peony. To make the peony, you need gum paste, cornstarch pouch, a set of peony colors, one and a half inch styrofoam ball, floral tape, upside down cup to store leftover gum paste while you're working, silicone rolling pin, ball tool, cell pen, an acrylic board to store your cutout pedals, a sponge pad, or you could use a foam, a sponge, gum glue, a brush, wire color pliers, brown nose pliers, a skewer, an 18 gauge wire, gun glue, scissors, and a flower rack to hang your flowers while they are drying, or you could use something similar. To make the center, you're using a one and a half inch styrofoam ball, and we're using two wire. One of them needs to be bended into a hook. And then you will make a hole right in the center of the styrofoam ball about three quarters of the way. Add some hot glue inside the styrofoam ball and then you're going to slide first the, the one with the hook and then the wire without the hook. And make sure that it goes all the way down. And then we are going to finish with more hot glue. I'm going to cover the wire with some floral tape. I always activate it by pulling. And then you just press right at the top and start moving it around. Then once you have it covered at the beginning, then you're going to pull hard, continue turning it around and while you're pulling. And once you get to the end, you just cut it. To roll out gum paste in a pasta machine, you first have to roll it out with a small rolling pin. I will start right before number one. It doesn't have a zero. I normally pass it twice to make sure that it's even. And I am at one right now. And it's a good idea to add a little bit of cornstarch so it doesn't stick. I'll normally finish at four or five. You just let it fall and hold it with the back of your fingers. So right now it's thin enough, so I'm going to start cutting my petals. I am going to transfer the rollout comb paste onto a surface and now I'm adding a little bit of cornstarch. Just make sure that you don't have too much. You're going to cut 10 petals of each size. It's important to make sure that you rub very well against the surface and get a clean edge. Transfer the cutout petals onto the sponge pad and either with the cell pen or with the ball tool start ruffling the edge of each petal. So you're pressing hard on top of the sponge pad and then you are going all the way around. Then you transfer them to the sponge and we're going to curb each petal so they look more natural. You need to brush each petal halfway. The first petal is going to go on top
and just got it to place it so it looks natural. Then you're going to start adding all the rest of the petals around. Overlapping each petal just a little bit. You could rearrange with the cell pen the petals if you need to. And then you're going to flip it over, bend the wire a little bit, and we're going to hang it over here. We will let it try while we're working on the next set of petals. I add some cornstarch, and I'm going to cut the next set of petals with this. Now let's check on the flower. So the petals are sturdy and they are not flipping over, so that's a good thing. So we could continue with the next layer. I always like to have extra ones. I have a couple more here, just in case. We are going to do one facing one way and the other facing the other way. So it doesn't look um, repetitive and it looks more natural. And I do exactly the same. Pressing the sponge pad, I will ruffle each one of the petals. I'm going to curve each petal and I am going to keep track of the order. So one is facing this way and the other is facing the other way. We're adding gum glue to half of each petal. I'm going to try to go in between and go about the same height, but it will be almost closer to the wire underneath right here. I'm overlapping them again, a little bit more than before because these are larger. Once you finish, make sure that you press hard and then you could rearrange them if necessary. And we are going to let it dry while we work on the next set of petals. I flip over half of my petals so they face a different way. So then I'm going to ruffle each one the same way I did before. Then I transfer them to the sponge and this time I'm using the rolling pin and then I'm going to curve each petal. I'm going to apply glue to half of each petal. And I'm going to start adding the petals closer to the wire. Not quite there, but really close. and overlapping them halfway. I 
I press very well. Now I'm going to let it dry upside down and work on the next layer of petals. I am working on the last set of petals. I already cut them out and I'm going to ruffle them the same way I did before with the other ones. I'm curving each one and then I will flip them over so it looks like the flower is opening. I'm brushing all the petals halfway with gum glue. I will add it right in between the previous row and right next to the wire making sure you press after you add each petal. And we are going to overlap it halfway. And I am adding that last petal. I am pressing very well to make sure that it's glue. And right here, in, it looks like I need a, needle, a little bit of gum glue, so I'm adding it. And if I need more somewhere else, I, it's a good time to add it. Then I'm going to flip it over and let it dry for a little bit. And then rearrange the petals if needed. It has been drying for uh, about 10 minutes and it looks like still needs to dry a little bit more but the f the petals are not collapsing between each other but if they are you could put a piece of foam here and there uh, I don't feel that this needs to put anything so I'm just going to leave it like it is and I'm going to place it in this cup and let it continue drying and let the, the, these petals on the back fall naturally. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thank you.